But the candles that we produce are all made from recycled bottles. Our flagship brand is Candle with a Cause, so how that was conceived of, of working is uh, the, the recycled bottles, soy wax, and then having a charity that uh, benefits from a portion of the proceeds. My name is Carlos Arango. Um, I've been living in Columbus for seven years. Well, I've really grown to love the city and sort of saw its potential when I first arrived. Uh, and so far that's really uh, revealed itself to be true, what I expected, and it's become a really great place for someone to uh, own and operate a startup. Uh, halfway through my degree, I started a business in the short north area of Columbus. It was sort of a retail workshop space, but we uh, produced and sold uh, upcycled fine arts and design pieces, functional design pieces. A doctor, a pediatrician friend of mine, he saw what I was doing and had hatched an idea with a few of his friends. The fact that they settled on recycled bottles to convert into candles really came to them at a bar when they inquired with a bartender uh, what they did with their uh, glass once it was once it was used. They found out that it was less than 30 percent of glass nationally uh, that was just actually recycled from commercial businesses. That was where they saw the opportunity. It seemed like that was an avenue I could take uh, personally to sort of carry out that mission uh, to make the world just a little bit better and to take advantage of a, of a resource that was really going unutilized. Obviously I'm passionate about the core idea, but I've always uh, been drawn to business, even in uh, middle and high school, where I would buy uh, hamburgers off campus and mark up the price to make a profit. At the end of 2015, I was sort of beginning to wonder how far I could take this business because things just weren't lining up, and I had also inherited the flagship brand, Candle with a Cause, from my predecessor, and come to find out there were a lot of things about that brand itself and the packaging and just the aesthetic uh, that weren't completely clicking with the consumer in the market outlets that we'd had up until that point. So we had to reassess the entire look and feel of the product um, and also simplify it because uh, too many layers to the, a message uh, really distract from the product itself and a lot of people don't really care uh, that a candle supports a charity and if they do care enough beyond the fact that you know they already know that it's 100% soy why that's good uh, that it's in a recycled bottle why that's good to then add that third layer of information is, uh, is confusing. And then there was a lot in label design and just the user experience as well that we had to re readdress. But I do love that people really do have an appreciation for uh, the cause behind um, the business and why we do what we do. So it's great meeting other passionate people. You know, because it's a wine bottle candle, it's recycled and it's soy wax, eco really is the core of it. Well, and the packaging, of course, has to reflect that. So natural fiber packaging is a huge improvement uh, to reinforce what's already understood by it being a recycled bottle. A recycled bottle and synthetic packaging, uh, there's a disconnect uh, visually and also just in the, in the core values of who you imagine is producing it. So we had to really bring it back to the core of the product and why the recycled and the soy aspect is really more than enough. Um, while we can maintain the name and just call it Candle with a Cause, so if a nonprofit does want to buy candles from us, they're not limited to one fragrance, and when they're selling them, it's simply Candle with a Cause. It's obvious that they're the cause.